few reasons why you should drive your third shot instead of dropping it. So the first one, if you play outside and it's super windy, you might as well drive it because if you try to drop it, it's super hard to control your ball when it's super windy. You don't even know where it's gonna end up, uh, where you're gonna end up hitting it. So I might as well drive that one instead of dropping it when it's super windy. Um, if you play against players, they're, let's say they're both at the kitchen line, they made it on time for my third shot drive um, and for my third shot and you notice that they're not very they have weaker volleys then you can drive might as well drive it to kind of test their hands um, another reason why if i'm serving and my the returner on the other side decided to stay back then i don't want to invite them by dropping it inside the kitchen i want to keep them back and hit it towards their feet so i'm going to drive it instead of dropping it another reason is if i hit a great serve and the returner hits, a sir, um, sorry, the return is somewhat super high and close to the net, meaning a little bit shorter. I might as well drive it instead of a dropping. If the returner hits something deeper and lower, I'm most likely gonna use, it, um, use my third shot drop because it's very hard to drive from all the way down here. Um, another one, if you're a tournament player, and you're super nervous, let's say it's 8 a.m., your first match is at 8 a.m. and you're very nervous, it's very hard to use your third shot drop when it's, you're nervous because you end up squeezing your paddle. Um, so you might as well drive it until you feel a little bit better and then try your third shot drop maybe midway in the first game.